Hello and welcome back to Koala Moon, children's bedtime stories and meditations designed to make bedtime a dream. This is King Leo's Forest Meditation by Gillian Rogerson. It's time to travel to a beautiful forest now and meet our friend, King Leo. He's a kind-hearted lion who looks after the animals in the forest. King Leo loves taking care of them and always makes sure the animals have everything they need. Even though he spends a lot of time looking after others, the wise king knows he has to look after himself too, which is why he makes sure he meditates every day. Let's head over to the forest and join him as he begins his meditation exercise. King Leo sits on a rock in the middle of a forest clearing. The sun shines down over his thick mane and golden-coloured fur. His eyes are closed and he is taking some deep, relaxing breath. The sun is soothing and warm as it flows gently over the resting lion and a peaceful smile alights on King Leo's face. Let's copy King Leo and take some more relaxing breaths. Take a deep breath in and then slowly let it out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Feel yourself relaxing more and more with every breath you take. Deep breath in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. You are so very relaxed now. King Leo is very relaxed too. The rock is warm beneath him and a gentle breeze ruffles his fur. He hears a variety of soft melodies coming from the birds in the treetops. Some of the birds let out low whistles and others chirp quietly. It's a peaceful sound, and King Leo lets out a soft sigh of happiness. He takes a deep inhale and smells lavender and wild roses that grow nearby. The smell mingles with the scent of warm earth and pine trees. It's a calming mix of fragrances that makes the kind lion feel so very tranquil and happy. He opens his eyes. He is ready to have a peaceful walk through the forest. He wonders if he'll meet any of his lovely friends along the way. He moves off the rock and stands up. The grass is soft and warm beneath his feet and he wriggles his toes in it and sighs softly again. He walks slowly through the clearing, swinging his arms loosely at his side. He listens to the soft whistles and quiet chirps drifting down to him from the singing birds. The soft wind whispers through the leaves and makes them rustle gently. The soothing scents of lavender, wild rose and pine trees stay with King Leo as he walks slowly out of the clearing. The serene smile is still on his face. He feels calm and peaceful. The beauty of the surrounding forest fills his heart with love and gratitude. King Leo leaves the peaceful clearing behind 
and walks along the forest path. The ground is warm and soft beneath his feet. The breeze gently ruffles his fur. There are tall trees on either side of the path. The branches of the trees reach out to each other and their leaves entwine as though they're holding hands. Sunshine filters down through gaps in the leaves and creates flickering shadows that dance across the path. King Leo steps slow as he watches the moving shadows. He sees his own lion-shaped shadow and gives himself a friendly wave. He smiles softly and continues on his way feeling very peaceful and relaxed. He hears the sound of moving water and steps off the forest path. He follows the sound of the water and walks on the soft grass and soon arrives at a river. There's a hippopotamus resting on the soft surface of the riverbank. He is called Horatio, and King Leo has known him for years. Horatio is frowning and staring at the water, as though something is troubling him. King Leo walks over to his friend and sits on the warm grass next to him. They exchange hellos, and Leo asks if something is concerning Horatio. Horatio sighs and says, I am somewhat troubled. I have many thoughts swirling around inside my head, and they just won't go away. King Leo asks what kind of thoughts are troubling him. Horatio frowns some more and explains he has some chores to do that afternoon, and one of them includes picking up his grandchildren from school. He also has to start planning his brother's birthday party, which is coming up in a few weeks. And a couple of weeks after that, it's his wedding anniversary, and he has no idea what to buy his wife, so he'll have to make a list of possible presents. King Leo nods in understanding and says... That is a lot to think about. Horatio, do you have anything to do this morning? Is there anywhere you need to be? Horatio shakes his head. Why are you asking? Is there something you need help with? I'm always happy to help. King Leo smiles at his kind friend and replies, Yes, I know you're always happy to help anyone. But I thought that if you have some free time now, you could do something to help settle your busy mind. You could try meditating. I do it every day, and I always feel better afterwards. Would you like to give it a try? Horatio says he doesn't know what meditating is, but he likes the idea of his busy mind settling down. King Leo describes his deep breathing exercises and asks Horatio to copy him. Horatio isn't sure deep breathing will make his thoughts go away, but he agrees to give it a go. The lion and the hippo close their eyes and take some deep, relaxing breaths. Breathing in and out. In and out. They take their time and focus on their breathing. Horatio's frown slowly fades away and a tranquil smile 
appears on his peaceful face. The two friends open their eyes and smile at each other. Horatio is amazed at how taking slow breaths has helped some of his thoughts go away. King Leo says Horatio can meditate at any time during the day, and he doesn't have to close his eyes if he doesn't want to. King Leo points to the river and says, Sometimes just looking at something and really focusing on it helps to clear your mind too. Look at the river now and tell me what you can see. Horatio looks more closely at the river. He notices how slowly it moves along downstream. He hears the gentle sound of the water lapping against the riverbank. It's a soothing sound and a wonderful feeling of calm flows through the happy hippo. The sun's rays move over the surface of the river and make it sparkle and twinkle. Horatio gazes at the riverbank opposite and sees tall reeds swaying in the warm breeze. He notices a family of frogs snuggled up behind the reeds. They look like they're having a peaceful nap. The thought of a nap makes the hippo yawn. Horatio moves his focus back to the river and observes how it meanders around curves in the riverbank. His gaze softens and his mind becomes clearer and the last of his thoughts drift away. He blinks tiredly and yawns again. Horatio looks back at Leo and tells him how peaceful he now feels. He thanks Leo and says he will take a nap and let his mind have a complete rest. King Leo says, that's a great idea. Have a lovely nap. I will see you later. Horatio says goodbye to Leo. Before the hippo closes his eyes, he scoops some of the soft mud from the riverbank and smooths it over his face. He loves having a mud face mask. And it's been a long time since he last had one. He knows it will work wonders on his skin whilst he has a nap. Horatio closes his eyes, sighs happily, and listens to the soothing sound of the river. He falls asleep within seconds. King Leo continues on his peaceful journey and strolls along the soft grass of the riverbank. The sun is comforting and warm on his back and a pleasant breeze caresses his furry cheeks. He gazes upwards and sees the beautiful pale blue of the endless sky. He watches small fluffy clouds drifting effortlessly across the sky and towards the horizon. He looks away from the sky and carries on strolling at the side of the river. He soon arrives at a waterfall. The sparkling water cascades over the rocks and into the river below. A small misty rainbow rises from the bottom of the waterfall and Leo watches it float higher and higher. The misty rainbow gradually melts away. Leo looks back at the waterfall again and sees a new misty rainbow rising from the water. He sees another one 
and then another one beneath it. He watches the small, beautiful rainbows as they float upward. It's a peaceful sight and makes him feel so very restful. He takes some long, deep breaths and relaxes even more. King Leo moves closer to the waterfall and stops for a while. He's close enough to feel a light mist alighting on his face. The water droplets twinkle like stars upon his golden fur. He closes his eyes and listens to the soothing sound of the falling water and the bubbling noise it makes as it falls into the river. The sound mingles with the soft noises of the forest and creates a melodic lullaby. King Leo stays at the waterfall a little longer and lets tranquility and peace flow easily through him from the top of his head down to the tips of his toes. He opens his eyes, takes one last look at the sparkling waterfall and continues on his way. He heads away from the river and back onto the forest path. He feels the warm earth beneath his toes again. He hears a chattering sound coming from the trees up ahead. He walks closer to them and sees a bright red parrot perched on a branch. She's one of his oldest friends and is called Polyander. She's talking non-stop and nodding her head and flapping her wings. King Leo wonders who she's talking to. He looks at the surrounding branches but can't see any other birds there. He stops next to his friend, looks up at her, and says hello. Polyander stops talking in mid-sentence and looks down at Leo. She says, Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you. Did you say something to me? King Leo replies, I only said hello. It's good to see you again, Polyander. May I ask who you are talking to? The parrot flaps her wings and chuckles. She says, I was talking to myself. My friends are busy this morning, but I'm meeting them later, so I was practicing all the things I want to say when we meet up. And then I practiced what their replies might be. And then what I might say to their replies. She flaps her wings again and says it's very exhausting having a one-way conversation. King Leo nods and gently asks why she needs to practice what she's going to say to her friends. I don't really need to practice. Polyander admits. But I haven't got anyone to talk to at the moment, or anyone to listen to. I do so love listening to my friends and hearing about their lives. King Leo smiles softly at his friend. He says, Why don't you listen to the forest? It's always got something to tell you. The parrot looks at Leo in confusion and asks what he means by that. The kind lion opens his arms wide and says there is always something to hear in the forest. And if Polyander quietens her mind, she will hear everything. Polyander shakes her feathery head and says she's lived in the forest all her life 
and has never heard it talk. Will you give it a try anyway? King Leo asks. I'll do it with you if you like. The parrot looks at her friend's face, sees the kindness and compassion in his eyes, and says, yes, she will give it a try. King Leo climbs the tree and sits on a wide branch next to his friend. He explains how to quieten her mind by taking some deep, relaxing breaths. He shows her what to do and starts by closing his eyes. Polyander copies him. She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath in and slowly lets it out. She breathes in and slowly breathes out. After a few deep breaths, she feels calmer and some of the things she wants to tell her friends drift from her mind. King Leo tells her to keep her eyes closed and to really listen to the forest. The little parrot takes another calming breath and pays attention to the sounds around her. She hears the wind whispering gently through the trees and notices how the leaves rustle softly. The wind changes direction and the whispering sound grows louder for a while and then much quieter until she can barely hear it. She pays closer attention to the wind and realizes she can still hear it moving quietly through the trees like a soft symphony of whispers and sighs. She listens to the shuffling noise of animals moving through the undergrowth beneath her and wonders if one of her hedgehog friends is settling down for a sleep. The thought makes her smile. A gentle buzzing sound gets louder and she instinctively knows it's some bumblebees who are flying back to their cozy nest in the next tree. They often pass by her tree on their way home. More sounds come to her. The rustling of leaves above her as a dove returns to the tree and begins to coo softly. The soft padding of deer below her as they explore the forest looking for plump berries. The far away babble of the river flowing along, and the beautiful songs of the birds who perch in the many trees around her. The peaceful orchestra of the forest fills her heart with joy, and she feels so very thankful to be a part of it. She sighs happily and opens her eyes. She looks over at Leo and says, I can hear the forest talking to me clearly now. What a beautiful sound. I think I will stay here for a while longer and listen some more. Would you like to stay with me? King Leo smiles and says, No, thank you. I will continue on my walk. It's been lovely sharing this experience with you. We should do this again sometime. 
He says goodbye to his friend and jumps easily off the branch and lands on the soft ground below. He carries on walking through the forest, his steps light and carefree. The sun is comforting and warm on his back. The soft breeze gently caresses his furry face. King Leo smiles softly. He feels so very relaxed and peaceful. He takes some deep, relaxing breath as he strolls along. He steps gently on soft pine needles that have fallen onto the ground. Their soothing scent is released and it wraps around Leo like a fragrant blanket. He carries on walking. The soft melodies coming from the chirping birds mix with a gentle rustling of leaves. The sun is so very warm and comforting. Leo soon begins to feel tired. His steps slow down. He decides to have a relaxing sleep. He heads towards a nearby cave. It's one he visits often when he feels the need for a refreshing sleep. He reaches the cave and goes inside. It is dimly lit by rays of sunlight which slant through the opening. The cave is warm and cosy. King Leo yawns and yawns again. He moves to the back of the cave and finds the soft bed of leaves that he made on a recent visit. He settles down on the bed and inhales the soothing scent of the still fresh leaves. He gazes softly towards the opening of the cave and the beautiful forest beyond. He thinks about the wonderful forest and his lovely friends who live there. Waves of gratitude and love flow through him. He feels all warm and happy inside. King Leo takes some deep, relaxing breaths. He breathes in and out. He closes his tired eyes and very gently he drifts into a relaxing sleep. Now we're floating into a deep and peaceful sleep. Feel how your muscles are relaxing. Your arms are heavy and your legs are too, as they loosen and release any tension remaining from the day. Feel how you let your body fall into the cosy warmth of your bed. Close your eyes, let your eyelids be heavy, breathe deeply, breathe in and out, breathe in 
and out as you continue to breathe deeply and as you keep feeling how your body becomes soft and heavy with sleep let your mind drift away that is the wonderful secret about sleep while your body rests lying heavily in your bed your mind is set free like a bird taking flight from a branch and flying up and up and up into the air. Feel how your mind loosens now like a balloon that has been untied from a fence and floats up and up and up like a bird. the sky until it reaches up into the clouds. Imagine that you have risen up high above the world and your head has poked up through the clouds. Then spread out all around you in the silvery moonlight, white fluffy clouds that look like cotton wool or marshmallows. They look so soft and squishy, you can lie back on them and roll around in them. Try it now. Lie back in the soft cradle of the clouds. Feel how they swirl and wrap around your body, holding you gently in the world of sleep. Clouds come in all shapes and sizes. Some are big and fluffy. Some are slender wisps. Some look like puffy mushrooms. And others look like paintbrush strokes that have been left on the dark sky. Let your body relax. Let your mind relax too. Let your mind float off into sleep. You are peaceful. You are safe. You are being held in the cosy warmth of sleep. With your eyes closed, let your mind drift up, up and away. In the world of dreams, you can go anywhere you like. You can float on blue oceans with ripples and tufts of waves. Or you can visit castles built in the sky with spiraling turrets and drawbridges over sparkling moats. Or you can wander into the peaceful woods where the birds are twittering and the trees are dense with dark green leaves. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out again as you fall more deeply into your cosy sleep. And with your eyes still closed, take a look around with your mind at where your dreams have taken you. When I fall asleep, I dream that I've gone to a world high up in the clouds. Sometimes the clouds are dappled silver from the moonlight. Sometimes they're soft pink and gold, reflecting the light of the twinkling stars. What form do your dreams take? Where does your mind go when you fall asleep? Maybe in your dreams, 
there are flocks of white fluffy sheep huddling together on the green fields. Look at the mother you yawn widely before she tucks her little lambs beneath her woolly fleece. Or maybe you dream of a friendly dragon curled up with his tail wrapped around him, a little trail of clouds puffing out of his nostrils. Look, the cloud dragon is smiling at us and waving. What a friendly dragon he is. Or maybe you dream of cute puppies lying on their backs, their tongues lolling out of their mouths their eyes closing because they've had such a long day. They look tired and there's their papa dog, fluffy and white, padding softly over to wish the puppies good night. Up here on the sea of clouds you can be free. Feel how light you are weightless, floating, drifting through sleep. Feel everything heavy from the day lift off you and drift away, taken away by currents until they disappear over the bank of clouds. Any worries you have been having, watch them float away. Anything that has been weighing on your mind during the daytime, now you can let them go and watch them drift away. Your worries are not you. You are not your worries you can let them go. Watch them float away. Now you are light as air. You are as gentle as starlight. You are as soft as the clouds. Up in the sleepy sky, everything is weightless and peaceful. The clouds stretch out like a sea of tranquility. Close your eyes and feel the clouds wrap around you. Feel them bearing your body gently into the land of sleep. Feel your eyes close. Feel them rest heavily as your body relaxes into sleep. Feel your mind lighten. Feel it loosen and drift away. Light as a feather, soft as the clouds. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. The world of clouds is waiting for you. Let yourself fall into the clouds soft warm hug. They are here to protect you. They are here to cushion you. They are here to hold you as you enjoy your deep and peaceful sleep. Sleep well, little one. Sleep well in the land of clouds. Feel how light you are. Feel how weightless. Floating. Drifting through sleep. Light as air gentle as starlight, soft as clouds, 
good night, little one.